Hello everyone, this is Arafel and bring you what's probably going to be the last Atari game I do in this series. But it's one of my favorites and it has a lot of stuff going on so I'm thinking about making this a three-parter. So we'll start with, uh, this is called Adventure Creator by Dale Dishran, as you can see. We'll start with the auto uh, beginner option. So what's going on with this game is it has several of the things that I find I really like in a game for replayability. One is that it randomly generates adventures for you. So that's what the auto option is. There are both beginner and advanced modes. I'm starting on beginner. It has less going on. As you can see we have rooms, we have creatures, we have treasure chests. we are going to adventure here. You go on a chest, press the button to try to pick the locks. Each chest has a different number of locks, potentially. And in the chest, you can find either treasures or tools. Treasures, if you press I for inventory. Treasures you get, they give you various values of things. Uh, there are, I think, something like 10 different treasures available. They, by default, all have the same value. But as you can see, we have one bronze idol. It is worth, one of those is worth 50 coins. Our goal was to get to 1,050 total uh, cash value. Uh, there are different rooms you can go through. Typically, each room will have a creature. Creatures have different behaviors and actions and appearances. Uh, this one is what they call a popper, which is when you touch it, it teleports you somewhere else in the room. A lot of rooms will have traps in them like these vertical bars here, the disappearing doors, yeah, disappearing walls in the other room. Uh, poppers are annoying if they get in your way. This one is also randomly moving apparently. Uh, some creatures will chase you, some will run away from you, some will fall along walls, some will move at random, and this seems to be one of the random ones. Let's just finish opening this chest and get shields. So as I mentioned, there are various tools you can get. Shields are one of them. Shields, when they're active, will protect you from taking damage from traps and will also keep the creatures from interacting with you. So that's another popper. Seem to be getting a lot of those this time. This one is also a chaser, which means it will try to chase you down. Uh, typically, if you sit in an entrance, things can't touch you. Also, if you press the T key, you can cycle through your different tools. Uh, you have shields, which, as I noted, protect you from things that affect you. Torches will light up dark rooms. Those don't appear in beginner difficulty, so that's not an issue yet. Hobbles will temporarily stop a creature from moving. You kind of shoot at... Yeah, to use any tool, you press the fire button. Uh, shields and several other things, you can have the joystick in neutral to do that. But for things like hoppers or hobbles, you have to be pressing towards the target and you'll kind of shoot it. Hobble's nippers will remove a trap if you hit the trap with it until you leave the room. Ferrets will give you an idea of what a creature does before you touch it. And back to shield. So there aren't that many tools. Uh, I was thinking at first you could use you know, the appropriate letter key to switch to a specific tool, like F for ferrets, H for hobbles, but no, it's just T for cycling through your tools. Ah, more energy. So energy, you can see that's the top thing in your status bar there. As you go around, you gradually consume energy. Also, energy is consumed faster when you touch a trap. Uh, some creatures will also drain energy. This creature will pop, which means you touch it, you get teleported. Uh, this you could tell from the noise it makes when you touch it is a draining type. It's not that bad energy drain, so I'm going to basically ignore it. Also, some traps are solid, some are not. So, pretty much any trap will hurt you if you touch it, especially if it's glowing. But some of them, that's all they do, and others will also block you. Okay, this creature will trade. Creatures that trade will give you one thing and take something else. So, this creature gave us a peacock feather, took a diamond pendant. As you can see, they're all worth the same anyway, so that's a net no change. Okay. Back in this room. Shield past this guy. Okay, 
think that's the goal. I'd love to get past this one. Uh, you'll notice the creatures have different colors and forms. There's The game has a number of different heads and a number of different bodies, which can be combined in any number of combinations. Uh, the creatures can all be various different colors. The rooms can be different colors. It helps keep things a little fresh and kind of interesting anyway. Uh, the goal for this particular quest is to gather a total amount of wealth. The other potential quest is to get a specific treasure. Yeah, that one's a popper. Yeah, you can either shoot ferrets at things to figure out what they do, or you can touch them and see what happens. Let's switch back to ferrets. Four of those. This is one of the hide type creatures, which will try to avoid you. Zap, I think, was... Yeah, Zap is a train's energy. Uh, monsters can have, or creatures can have different speeds. If a creature zaps you, then the faster it moves, the faster it drains. Okay, there's another ivory scabbard. So we're up to 600 wealth out of 1050 needed. This is yes, this is one of the nice creatures that just gives you something. If a creature gives you something, that happens once. If it's uh, things like poppers happen each time you touch them. Creatures that trade will trade each time you enter the room and touch them and leave. So if it takes something you want back, you can leave the room, come back in, trade again to get that item back and have it take something else. So, for instance, let's see if I can get this to take some tools instead of treasure. There, it took some hobbles. So I end up slightly richer. You have your standard eight directional movement. Okay, tools, shields. Did I go this way yet? No. This one moves slower, it also drains slower because it is a draining type of creature. But it's not chasing us down, so no big deal. I also find the sound effects for this game are, and they're nothing fancy, but they work very well for what they are. There's more gold, nippers, that one's a popper. If you have a big empty room like this, there's probably some traps that just haven't appeared yet. Some more ferrets, so we use one on this guy. That's a torch. Ferrets. Okay, that's a dapping creature. And yes, you can shoot things that you shoot diagonally. Okay. Let's see what's in this chest. If you have bumpers like this, you can kind of wiggle between them. Hobbles. We're almost to the wealth goal, so one more treasure will do it. And I think you start with the free 20 in addition to the treasures themselves. Uh, you'll notice if you have multiples of a treasure, the worth will show the total amount for the entire stack and not what a single one is worth. Okay. There's two chests in here, so. And this guy just gave us treasure, so that's a win. And that was a randomly generated beginner map on Adventure Creator. Come back next time and I'll show an advanced map. And after that, the level editor. <laughs>